Hi friends, uh, today we will discuss about Klein's transformation. Basically, Klein's transformation is um, to define a configuration or rules uh, to uh, maintain the data quality properly from the source to target. So, the sequence of uh, steps what I'm going to follow to achieve the Klein's transformation, uh, I'm going to do uh, create an assert using a data quality and after creating an assert uh, define the corresponding transformation like uh, setting up a convert uh, case to upper uh, as an input and I will convert the upper case and removing the uh, leading and trailing space okay so when we when we talk about uh, the creating an assert in data quality that can be reusable uh, the, uh, the mapping what you are creating in the data integration side so once this part is done the first part is done in the data quality side the next thing we are going to uh, start working with the data integration that is we are going to uh, define a mapping okay in, in the mapping source uh, I, I i i took a very simple and basic example like i took a, a, a the source qualifier uh, from the <clears throat> c underscore emp table and uh, introduce cleanses the transformation uh, that is calling the asset what we had defined and apply the asset rules okay uh, and uh, based on the rules uh, the downstream system downstream uh, output like uh, the tc emp table it's going to take uh, the converted output and load it into the target okay so let us go back to the sql developer uh, what the table i have defined now here is uh, this is the source table i have defined it okay now if you see here um, now if you see here we have uh, three columns basically here the employee name is in lower case and the address field uh, it is with the uh, leading and trailing space when i say leading and trailing space see one test followed by a lot of leading space is there and trial space at the end you can see a lot of trial space as well and similarly in the second row record uh, same and the uh, last row it has li little leading space uh, in between so this this e name we are going to convert uppercase and this uh, trialing leading and trialing space we are going to remove the spaces okay that is the uh, idea using the cleanse transformation we are going to achieve it today so the target table uh, with the same structure i have here for our demo purpose if you see here there is no records as of now let's jump into oh, data quality how i have defined the uh, the cleanse uh, assert okay how i defined the cleanse assert and its corresponding configuration so here if you see the cleanse okay so this is the asset i've already created uh, the asset name is cleanse test okay if i go, go get into the assert uh, detail information you can see two rules have been uh, defined okay first one is convert case so whatever the input you are giving uh, against that uh, uh, this is the property we set to uppercase okay in this case and similarly the second uh, role what we defined is uh, leading and trial trialing space and multiple space as as i told you before here see leading and trialing space also the multiple space in between you see that so that is the reason you are seeing that uh, both the properties are enabled uh, from this uh, uh, the uh, rule actually so um, okay so in down below you can see the cleanse property input we have to select it so that i've already defined it so now we are uh, good and uh, we are set with the data quality uh, then we'll jump into data integration here here when you go to data integration the mapping which i have defined i will give you a quick walkthrough so for example uh, the mapping uh, what i had defined uh, for our testing purpose so this is the source from emp table it's coming okay uh, c underscore emp table and cleanse if you open this transformation here we are introducing the asset what we are defined okay and here this is the uh, input information and field mapping from e name and address from the c underscore emp table to cleanse asset it's pointing to it once it is done this is the final output we are getting so this final output we are going to uh, map it in the field mapping here if you see here you see that so e name cleanse and address cleanse so let us try to create a mapping with the similar setup okay so now let's jump in creating a new mapping so first thing as i told 
this is before cleansing this is the source information we are going to point it oracle source i'm taking okay now the next thing is the cleanse transformation we can introduce here so here uh the 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 cleanse uh asset what we have created uh, in in the data quality we are going to pull it here so it is sitting in the tutorial folder we'll select that asset okay so now we can add okay uh, sorry the incoming field and you can add what is the field you want to cleanse it here sorry actually the table and the source have defined wrongly it should be c underscore emp okay now if you go back okay, already we selected the assert now we can select the field information what you want to convert the employee name and address as i told now you can map the field already okay so map to field already it's mapped uh, e name and address correspondingly and the final output is going to get address and e name that's it okay now the target you know tc underscore emp is the target table correct so let's select it okay and the target field mapping so you do mapping here so you should be use the cleansed uh, field instead okay so this one it goes to here this one goes to here so now save the mapping the mapping is valid okay now if you want So save the mapping. Okay, now we are good to run the mapping now. So go to the job and the job is started. Uh, let us wait for it to complete. Okay. So let's go back there. So the records have been processed successfully see now we can see the result so now we can see that it has been converted successfully from, uh, from lower case to upper case and the trialing leading and trial space and multiple space have been taken care okay this is about cleanse transformation okay thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel